when we started, I don't know, 20 or 30 people worked here. Yeah. Um, now it must be 300, 600. Oh no, <laughs> right. is it? Bristol, home of the UK's longest running manufacturer of leisure vehicles. 2018 marks Bailey of Bristol's 70th anniversary. This is where the magic happens. Over 7,000 leisure vehicles produced a year by over 500 local workers. And all of this started in one man's garage. Bailey started uh, in 1948, 70 years ago. Martin Bill Bailey built his first caravan in his garage, a couple of roads away from where we are now. And then he sold it for the princely sum of £200 at the Ashton Gate Market. It was just, just after the war, so Bristol was in a bit of a mess. The, uh, the Luftwaffe were given it a fair, fair pasting. It was probably quite tough in Bristol at that time. And uh, Martin Bailey had managed to get hold of some scrap aluminium timber. We're not entirely sure how he managed to get hold of it. I'm not entirely sure it was legitimate, but, um, and he built his caravan, he sold it successfully. So at that time, he was probably great news for the city because um, it was struggling after the war. On the basis of that, he set up FG Bailey Limited the following year. Still a long way from what you get on the market today, the Maestro was one of many caravan models become more accessible to the public when FG Bailey Limited officially formed in 1948. Well, the caravan behind me here, the, the Maestro, well, so this one was built in 1955 and very much part of modern living, I would think, a caravan like this. This caravan, back in the 1950s, would have been built in the conventional way. You build a caravan and then you squeeze everything in through the door. I think it reflects uh, Bailey's ethos, uh, which still continues now, I think, to really be part of, of, the, of the community that they're working in. Throughout the 50s and 60s, Bailey becomes something of a household name in the caravan community, building a strong reputation for its product reliability. With this came the need to expand. In the early 60s, the company that began in Martin Bailey's garage had moved to South Liberty Lane. It remains the home of Bailey today. Basically, Pete started five years before me. Yeah, 1960, so. so. And he watched, he watched the place being built down here. We didn't have a drawing office. It's amazing when you think now everything's designed and that. And Mr. Bailey used to come round to us. He'd come round and say, anybody got any good ideals, right? If you come up with a good ideal that he took on, we've got extra few pounds in our wages. Since I started 30 years ago, it's it's just changed completely. It's far better now and more organised than what it was then. We had a plain chisel, saw, you know, you had to have all that then, a bag of tools, you know. There was no electric, it was all gas lights, you know. And I fitted the first water pump in, in a Bailey caravan. And I came up with the first plate rack. Then we had to carry the furniture to the cab shop, about 100 yards, with a sink unit on my shoulder. We had no trolleys, nothing, we had nothing. Basically, the, the way the furniture is put together now, is more like a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. Um, so so to, to make it easy for everyone, things slot together. Yeah. The 70s was a time of big change for Bailey. Most notable because Martin Bailey passed on the ownership of the company to Patrick and Stephen Howard. Not long after the Howards joined the Bailey family, however, the caravan industry was faced with rocky roads ahead. Due to increases in VAT and oil prices in the late 70s and early 80s, a caravan holiday was becoming less of an affordable holiday option. Caravan sales decreased and many major companies shut down. We've known the bad times, you know, I've known a three day week, you know. We come in, three day week, sorry. You know, if we don't pick up, the firm's gonna close down. I remember them days. That's what really made the changes. They brought in more technical expertise. Yeah. If they hadn't, we'd have been. If they hadn't, the beaters had been finished. Yeah. Definitely. Bailey, however, wouldn't be so easily swayed, and undeterred by these hardships, Bailey tripled the size of its site in the early 80s, bringing new jobs, technological advancements, and some of the most iconic vehicles in the industry, still revered today. 
testament to the family values that run throughout Bailey. The next generation of Howards are leading the company forward. Bailey was a huge um, part of our life, um, not only through my father, but when my mother worked here, she was part of the interior design team. We would always be on caravan holidays. Generally, we would be in some new innovative prototype that my father had come up with that we'd be testing on public's behalf. And if we came back with all our fingers intact from his new bunk assembly design, it was considered a pass. But I think the nice thing for Nick and I, we both went away and did something different. We both went to college um, and we both came to the business with some new skills. Prior to joining Bailey, I worked in the motor industry in the Midlands, then said, said yes to the wrong question um, and ended up joining Bailey. But to give me a sound grounding um, in everything Bailey, uh, we thought it was best that I did a year working on the shop floor. Um, so off went the tie and the business shirt and on, and on went the overalls. And I worked at every station on the facility, which, which was tremendous from my perspective. Not only did it give me a thorough understanding of everything we do on the production process, it really got me to know all the team here at Bailey. Perhaps one of the biggest um, changes in Bailey's history happened in the late 90s, which is when we launched our Ranger um, caravan range. And that served to catapult us from being one of the smaller manufacturers in the industry to indeed one of the largest. At the time, in 1996, we were the 12th biggest manufacturer. And fundamentally, what we got right with Ranger was fully understanding the consumer and the marketplace and indeed giving them what they wanted. Um, the next generational shift in, in, in the product is when we launched the Alutech construction and that served to remove timber from, from the body shell um, which again was identifying the consumer needs and gave us growth in the marketplace. Not content with revolutionising caravan manufacture, in 2011 Bailey leapt into the motorhome market. The development of Alutech really gave us the springboard to move into the motorhome market. Also because Bailey was such a well-known brand in caravans, we felt that would transfer to motorhomes and what people like about our caravans, they also like about our motorhomes. Owning a Bailey is so much more than just owning a caravan or motorhome. As members of the Bailey Owners Club would attest, it means you are a part of the Bailey family. The Owners Club is a group of friends that um, get together on rallies. For fun, laughter and games. For fun, laughter and games. We enjoy the Baileys as a group of people. Anything you want to do, they take on board what we say as a club. So, <laughs> you know, that, that tells a story really. It's nice to see the directors and management actually going out and using the vans. I've seen online the Bailey Adventures um, in all the snow and the ice um, and it's amazing how they've taken the vans to sub-zero temperatures and actually tried them and shown how well insulated they are. You know that, that's the thing to us, it's, they're reliable. It gives me a lot of confidence in it because I mean they've been tested down in all sorts of climates which is brilliant. So yeah, it, 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 there's a lot of confidence in uh, development of, a, of the product. You know. In recent years Bailey have committed to testing their products in the extremes, tackling thousands of miles of dusty Australian outback, as well as icy Arctic road conditions. To me, Bailey Adventures are just proving that you can do things. When we went on the Arctic trip, it's not as if I had ever driven in the Arctic before, but we managed to take two cars, two caravans and motor and 300 kilometers inside the Arctic circuit. The adaptability of the Bailey family has allowed it great success and expansion across the globe. Well, we have an amazingly strong British heritage, a very, very strong brand with innovation, security in the brand value, amazing style, design flair, and we're providers of a new lifestyle where we engage with our communities. You know, the Korean uh, called the Bailey Caravan different way, the Queen's Caravan. Well, Bailey Korea is becoming one of the biggest caravan companies in Korea. There are many Korean people who love the Bailey Caravan, same as you in UK. We are Bailey family. True to form, Bailey's expansion is equally focused here at home in the UK. 
I think it's testament to the Bailey commitment to their own growth and expansion plans that we're sat here in Clevedon, 11 miles away from the main site, producing all the large panels for the, for the caravans to be made all over the world. We have been able to take on a lot of new people from the local area in, in North Somerset. We were also lucky enough to take some of the skilled and experienced people from the main site who've been with Bailey, some of them for their entire working career. So we have a good mixed workforce in Clevedon now and who are really committed to the Bailey way. Bailey knows it's the small things that make a holiday great, and with this in mind, expanded Bailey Parts and Accessories and the Prima brand in 2016. Prima Leisure has come about in the last few months, and whilst in the past we've delivered successfully a parts business to our dealers, we wanted to add accessories into that as well. Uh, we work very closely with Bailey. Um, I myself have been up to the Bailey factory and seen uh, how the caravans are made and how the motorhomes are made and seen the exciting new products that we've got coming towards us. Bailey has never forgotten its roots as a reputable, family-based company, known for its reliability and strong sense of community. But with an expanding global reach, you can go further with your Bailey than ever before. The company's contribution is recognised not only by its family of employees and owners. A royal visit in 2013 saw Her Majesty the Queen recognise its achievements. It's quite a rare story in British manufacturing to have businesses 70 years later still thriving, making improvements in the, in the marketplace, innovating within the marketplace. And certainly, you know, we're, we're putting out products that people are genuinely interested in, genuinely want to buy and genuinely want to enjoy. So um, being, being part of that is an incredibly special thing. Oh, I feel proud because I've been a part of this for a long, long time. And my brother worked here, my nan and granddad worked in here and there, like, 80s and 90s. My nan used to clean the vans, my granddad used to have fit the ceiling. So yeah, it's a big family business, like personally for me as well as like everyone else. Like. like us, tremendous pride in where the business has gone um, and where it's going to in the future. And delighted to see the, the, the continuation of, of that family ownership blend with a strong local company. I think it's pride, really, just to see them, and it's particularly pleasing when you, you, know, you go somewhere like Australia or New Zealand and you see a Bailey, and you think, wow, we, we've come a long way from that, that garage in South Bristol um, to selling caravans, motorhomes all over the world. You think uh, it really is a great achievement.